Hello, welcome back. I am Runa, as you already know, and today I am going to be involved with a bunch of babble of useless talk. Yes, that is exactly what Twitter means. I am a twit. I just talk about anything in the world like birds do, twit, 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 and so on. Interestingly enough, that is what the Twitter site is about. It is a site which allows you to express yourself in as little as 140 characters. It is a micro blog, a micro as in tiny web log, which enables you to send and receive messages which you call tweets. Therefore, I said tweet, 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 as though you are a bird talking. And usually, if you call somebody a twit, you are calling somebody a little off who does not understand much. And that is the whole idea of the Twitter that you express your moment or your idea immediately. What am I feeling? Happy, that is a twit. Excited, that is a twit. You can include text, photos, and videos in Twitters. And interestingly, Twitter is among the most popular social networking sites after Facebook. Millions of tweets are being shared in real time every day at twitter.com. The nice thing of course is you do not even have to log on to twitter.com. There are applications through which the tweets just pop up on your screen. And the idea is because you are a twit, you can tweet about anything you like. So, tweet about mundane things and then over time it is about sharing meaningful moments whether they are big or whether they are small and therefore over the years Twitter has evolved to a much more useful tool. Of course, you know you are not the only one thinking like me that Twitter is like the dumbest thing you have ever heard of, right? We just said it is about twits. Why? Why would anybody want to tell others what they are doing in just 140 characters? Yet, people who disbelieved Twitter made a huge mistake. It is incredibly powerful to improve your personal learning and connect with others. Think about it. When you are talking face to face, when you are involved in a network, how often are you giving long speeches? Often it is you are nodding your head or you are giving a short little statement, uh huh, acha, Q, and so on, right? Short little interjections. That is what Twitter is about. And you use Twitter to find other people and follow their tweets. And as I said, you could also use Twitter applications like TweetDeck. So you do not even need to log on to twitter.com. You can directly have tweets uh, tweet or different people's tweets pop up on your desktop. The success of Twitter revolves around this principle of followers. We as human beings learn to look up to people, to believe in people, to follow them, right? When you choose to follow somebody's tweets, then that person feels great. That person's ego is reinforced and that person works hard to get more and more followers. And the more and more followers you get, the more successful Twitter is. So, Twitter has an inbuilt incentive, right? The inbuilt incentive is to get followers. Usually, when you choose to follow somebody's tweets, the user's tweets will appear in reverse chronological order on the main Twitter page. The lovely thing about Twitter is, in a very short time frame, it gives you a broad exposure to multi-dimensional issues. Remember only 140 characters. So, if you are following 20 different people, you will get a mix of different tweets when you scroll down the page. You will get to know about breakfast cereals, you will get to know about some interesting new links, some music recommendation, something about the future of education, maybe a short idea on technology, what is the new mobile phone available and so on. All very quickly in bursts of 140 characters. So, Twitter is for those people who want to blog, who want to tell the world about what they are thinking, but they are too lazy to sit and type and type and type. 
So that's the majority of people in the world, right, who want a blog but don't want to take the effort to do it because they are primarily easy going. So Twitter solves their problems. Not only that, Twitter can be a very, very quick way to keep in touch. What are the things you can do with Twitter? It can expose you to a range of thoughts and wisdom which you had not thought possible before. It gives everyone and anyone, you can just be on Twitter and that itself means you have a support network. It lets you see what the whole world is up to. Again, humans by nature are inquisitive, are voyeuristic. So you always want to know what is the film star up to? Where exactly is Ranbir Kapoor vacationing and so on? Twitter lets you see that and therefore gives you an outlet like no other. And finally, because you are having short little bursts of humour, your own sense of humour improves significantly. Here is a sample Twitter page for you. As you can see, you have Google, so you have the latest trends from Google. You have the secret to looking great. What do you want to sell your AdSense? Top 5 money making tips, top 10 websites to play with and so on. So a whole bunch of random things that you have in here. Twitter was developed by Jack Dorsey, Evan Williams and Biz Stone and Noah Glass in 2006. So it's not a very old company but it has really, really grown with 288, this is a web capture from yesterday. 288 million monthly active users, 500 million tweets per day, 80% are actually mobile users, you know the importance of mobile already. Interestingly, it's not America centric, 77% of the accounts are outside the US, it supports 33 languages, okay, and all this supported by just 3600 employees, just note the power of ICT. What are the benefits of Twitter? Well, certainly social messaging, right? If Amitabh Bachchan sends a quick tweet saying polio Sunday coming up, please make sure that you send your child or for polio drops or says you have a huge cough, go and you know check whether you have TB or not, huge, huge way of reaching out to a bunch of people. Twitter can again link different communities together. So for example, you have uh, you know communities which share humor. Say you have humor about, well if I could spell, humor about let's see, botany. So you have a whole bunch of botanists who have actually got together on Twitter and said we are just going to have jokes around our own discipline. Twitter works very effectively for live event reporting. Later I will show you the various uses of Twitter on a pie chart as well. Often in war torn areas you are not able to post long messages, but in this case you can have reporters sending in those 140 character images, videos and um, reports. Twitter polls are extremely useful quickly to understand how things are going. I will uh, talk to you about an education example in this case fairly soon. Twitter is among the most useful tools for a PhD supervisor to know where his student is because each time you tweet you give away your location. So it's very good both for for example the marketing guy or the sales boss to know where exactly your salesmen are on the field you can if you interact with them through Twitter and certainly same for the students. A perfect tool for promotions and popularity, again we will show you some examples. In the context of business, again communicating and exposure is a big benefit of Twitter. Twitter helps you generate leads, as we said you know often people do not want to give ideas in terms of a nice long letter, but one quick tweet. If you follow some important users of your product, you could get some interesting leads. It can also show your brand's personality. Now if I am on Twitter, then that what it tells a customer is, this company is very agile, it is quickly posting messages, making changes. So it is giving that young and dynamic 
feel to the product. Twitter helps you connect, there is a tremendous interconnectivity between customers, wholesalers, retailers, users and the company, suppliers, all of them can be interconnected through Twitter. So you know a comment about a terrible package may hit the supplier and he may think about how to improve the packaging and suggest that to the company much much faster than it would have happened before. Twitter is really good to research trends, what are people used to, you figure out what is trending, which color is the color for fashion this year, is it purple, is it orange, is it going to be off white this summer or should we go with lilacs, so those kind of trends. Twitter of course is easy to get feedback because it's quick and dirty, 140 characters and finally even when you are providing customer service you get the same personal touch when you do it through Twitter. You don't have to call a call center and say your call is important to us but our customer service executive is busy with another, please wait, your call is important to us tun, 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 tun. and you have to keep waiting till the call center person gets back. Instead you just send a tweet and your job is done, they tweet back works out much much simpler. So that's a huge business benefit that Twitter could give you. Here's a quick content analysis of Twitter. As we said the original idea of Twitter was to give you a place for pointless babble because in reality we are all humans a lot of our interaction is nothing but pointed babble. So here you are as 40 percent of Twitter's tweets are literally pointless babble. Interestingly not far behind 38 percent is actually conversational in nature, it's about interaction, it's about talking, it's about building the social networks that we talked about earlier and 40 percent, 38 percent is not too bad. 8.7 percent is pass along value or follow value where hey I discovered that Marks and Spencers has a sale and you pass that information on. So about 9 percent is pass along value, 3.6 percent is news. So when you are talking about war torn areas or some breaking news that has just come about 4 percent comes from Twitter. Sadly enough Twitter is not free from spam either, so about 4 percent of content on Twitter is nothing but spam and a large portion of Twitter 6 percent is actually self promotion. So Shah Rukh Khan has a movie and then he will tweet about the making of the movie, he will tweet about what is good, what is bad all simply in the name of self promotion. So a large percent of course people want to know because we are humans a large percentage of uh, Twitter again is self promotion. So it is a very nice free way of advertising and reaching out. Just some very quick you know inputs into the language for Twitter this is the reply button. So you reply you can comment on a tweet and join the conversation, retweet which is share a tweet with your followers, a hashtag you assign a topic to a tweet so the whole set comes together, you favorite a tweet by giving it a star mark, this is how this is what you click to compose a tweet, when you have a notification you get this alarm bell, here is a message, you change your profile, you use this to follow people that you enjoy. So to start your own Twitter account start by building a voice start retweeting, start replying, start reacting, do not start with your own tweets, start with using other people's tweets. Then when you are writing your own tweets remember to mention and include others in your content, see what you want is you want more and more followers right that is the purpose of the tweet. So if you want more and more followers you have got to include other people as you proceed, so that is what you will do. And as you learn to get to use Twitter better, then start exploring its fancy advanced features like images and videos, direct messages and connect Twitter to the others. Important thing is if you want to be part of the Twitterati, right, 
you've got to regularly engage and contribute in a meaningful way, not just once or twice, but regularly. The coolest thing about Twitter, however, is that even unregistered users can read tweets. So we can access Twitter through the website interface, SMS, mobile device, anything, and we don't even need to be registered to see the tweets. And as a result, it's very, very good for sentiment research. So just two quick anecdotes. There was this Twitter classroom experiment. As you know, you have all these kids in class who just can't be separated from their cell phone. And they come into the lecture hall and they're still SMSing and texting and doing Facebook and so on. So a particular teacher decided to take advantage of that and set up a Twitter handle for his course. And when he was making a presentation, two thirds of the screen was his PPT and one third of the screen was left behind for tweets. And he told the students, feel free to tweet on my course. So by allowing that, as he taught, you had the series of tweets keeping on coming down, right? So as he taught, the advantage was that these students had started interacting on the tweet. Rather than raising their hand and asking a question, they kept typing their tweets and kept having conversations. So it promoted a whole bunch of interaction. Maybe it took away something from the teacher. More importantly, what the teacher realized was he could not cover everything that he wanted to cover. But whatever portion of the topic that he did teach, did manage to teach between the tweets, it was a discovery for the students. They really learnt. So that's one example of how Twitter could be used in the classroom. Another uh, example that I want to bring to you is, of course, two major film actresses. You have Deepika Padukone and you have Priyanka Chopra. Both are huge Twitter users. Of the two, Priyanka possibly posts a tweet every five minutes or every hour. She is very, very active on Twitter. I'm doing this. I'm jumping here, doing my nails. All the things keep coming on as tweets. Deepika, on the other hand, usually is quiet. And every time she has a movie coming in or she has an interview on TV that she wants to discuss, she puts up the tweets. Which of them are more popular? Any ideas who has the greater fall number of followers? Well, interestingly, Deepika. Okay. Now, although remember, she's a very purposeful, self-promoting tweeter, right? As compared to Priyanka, who's always posting little messages. So that brings out the question to what the other Twitterers are looking for. Are they looking for just trivia about yourself? Or they are actually using the tweets to follow you, to know what is, what is it you're doing next, and then pick that up. So that was just my little anecdote for you. Once again, like we talked about social networks, privacy and security is going to be a huge concern. Twitter messages are public. Users can send private messages. Note, Twitter collects personally identifiable information and shares it. And please note that if the company changes hands, Twitter can sell this information as an asset. Advertisers are allowed to target users based on their history of tweets. There have been instances of hacking of Twitter accounts. Twitter now offers a feature that allows tweets to be removed selectively by country. Also, there is a do not track privacy option that Twitter has now put in place not necessarily on all browsers, but certainly on the Firefox browsers. So once again, important to keep privacy and security issues at hand. Again, here are some more websites that you should find interesting, which also talk about different ways of using Twitter. Thank you very much, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.